All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the Barnes, the Apostles, the Great Mills, Norm, Tisha, and us. The one percent truth according to the Bible rule well in peace and blessings so full to the nation of Israel. Take through spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Shai. <coughs> We'll get into the Lord's one well, edifying lesson, uh, center upon uh, the heart of the wise or the mind. The congregation of the wise is what I'm going to title it through the Spirit, you know, maybe. We'll see what the Spirit says. Uh, the heart is going to be centered upon this scripture right here, you know, and for those who fear the Lord, those who are, who tremble at the Lord's uh, words. You see, we are really the, the wisest people on the planet right now. And we understand, we've been given the secrets and the mysteries uh, to understand that a, a better kingdom is promised. You know, something much better <coughs> than this. Like when you're on those uh, game shows, you know, uh, do you want what's behind door number one? Or do you want what's behind door number two? You know, of course, they show you what's behind door number one, which is this kingdom, you know, which is folly, setting great dignity, which is a whole bunch of foolishness, you know, where the wicked prosper. And door number two, you know, is what we're taking, you know, the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We'll take the kingdom of the, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son any day, uh, over this kingdom where this kingdom is full of vexation of spirit is full of uh you know just another day in babylon you know lord's willing we get out of here soon this is a ecclesiastes 7 and 2 it is better to go to the house of mourning so it is better you know it's more expedient you know the house of mourning mourning you know which is what you what doing what you repenting you repenting to Yahweh by Shema Shai you uh, turning back <coughs> and you are now crying out to the Lord to forgive you for your uh, for your sins you know <coughs> so like it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting so the house of feasting you know that entails a lot of partying that entails of a lot of do as thou wilt spirit you know the spirit of satanism you see and that's what this king promotes the house of feasting to be gluttonous you know if it feels good do it you see it says for that is the end of all men what's going to be the end of all of of all these uh, uh men women and children you know that are taking part that are partakers in the house of feasting you know of course the children are under the authority of their parents until 12 years old but you know when they get of age you know at least a lot of these kids you, you see they're not gonna make it you know it says um it says for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart and those uh who are living will lay it to their mind those with the wisdom knowledge understanding those with the breath are considering these things you know how that the wicked only prosper but for a moment they're considering that the joy of the hypocrite you know it's just for a moment in time you see but those who put their uh, trust in the lord and cast off the works of darkness you see uh, uh endure forever like tells you in first john 2 and 15 this is a Verse 4, it says, The heart of the wise, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. You see, so it's evidently clear that a lot of our people are what? They're fools, you know, because they're not in the house of mourning. They're not on the, in the house of, of sighing and crying to Yahweh by Shema Shai, humbling themselves, being of a contrite, a contrite and humble spirit. You see? It says, The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning you know that's the men of great millstone and those pushing this doctrine of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the apostles doctrine like it tells you in the book of Acts it says but fools but the heart of fools is in the house house of mirth mirth it says it is bare to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools you know so through the rebuke you know that Yahweh Shema Shai uh, 
uh, put out in the earth, you know, via this word going out, that's that's better than hear the song of fools, the, the 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 false doctrines of false hope, false sense of hope, a false prosperity. You see, this is a uh, Isaiah sixty six and two. It says, for all, for all those things, <coughs> it says, for all those things have my hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord, but to this man will I look, even to him that is poor, and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my words. You see, someone who is poor ain't living it up partying. Someone who is a, of a contrite spirit isn't in a, a jolly go turn up spirit. You know, someone who trembles at the Lord's words, where they're in fear, they're 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 too uh, uh, terrified to go out and party. You know, not saying that we can't have a good time. You know, but there's a season and time and place for everything. You see, and right now is more of a solemn assembly and focusing on uh, uh on this truth you know brothers do have a good time when we get together we fellowship but you know we always talk about the scriptures you know amongst other things but mainly mainly the scriptures it says this is james chapter 4 verse 8 it says um verse 7 it says submit yourself therefore to the most high so in order for you to submit you gotta humble yourself you gotta get you gotta become lowly so you gotta submit yourself you know that's you coming under you know that's that's you being brought low you know that's you being in the house of mourning it says submit yourself therefore to the most high resist the devil you know you gotta fight you know this thing is a fight lord's want me to do a lesson on that you know, spirit is on me a little later tonight. You know, you gotta fight. This is a fight for our for our souls. You know, this is a fight, and the only way to win this battle is to fight. You see, it says draw. It says resist the devil, and he sh and he will flee from you. Mm, wow. It says draw nigh to the Most High, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. You see, so how can you cleanse your hands and purify your minds? By taking heed thereto according to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. That's how it's going to be done. That's how you do it. It says, And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. So we got to be afflicted. We got to mourn and we got to weep unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into heaviness you know because when you're in the world you know before you come into the knowledge of Yahweh Shema Shai come into this truth you're always trying to turn up you're always trying to uh, please yourself to have a good time but the Lord said uh, if any man come unto me let him deny himself you know You're supposed to be uh, born again verse 10 says humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up so we got to humble ourselves greatly in the sight of Yahweh by Shema Shai, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything there is a season and, and, to, and, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 4, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. So the time of mourning and weeping is now, you know, we're, we're, that, uh, we're that widow Crying unto Yahweh by Shema Shai, like it tells you in uh, Luke, the 18th chapter. You see, the, the the attribute of the elect of Yahweh by Shema Shai, they'll be crying unto the Lord day and night. You see, that's not a party spirit. That's not a, a happy-go-lucky. St. Luke 18 and 7, And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Isn't that the house of mourning? You crying day and night unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. That sounds like a, a state of mourning to me. It says, though he bear along with them, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. You know, constantly the Lord saying, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. I'm going to make a speedy riddance, you know, amongst the evildoers. The Lord is coming back speedily. That's why, you know, 
Yeah, you see uh, a Sleazy Joe and these elites, you know, him being the puppet and them pulling the strings, you know, uh, uh, with this kingdom is making things mandatory, locking things down, about to lock things down. It's about to be a civil unrest. You know, here in Babylon the Great, the economy is not going to always, you know, be open like this where you can go to the grocery store, you know. So now it's the time uh, to, uh, let me, um, what is that? Let me get this. We haven't got, I haven't brought this one out in a minute. I think it's 22. It says, um, uh, St. Luke chapter 10 verse, uh, St. Luke chapter 6 verse 20, he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, blessed be ye, blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of the most high. You know, that's who the most high has chosen, the poor of this world, rich in faith. It says, blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye, be, for ye shall be filled. And right now we're hungry, we're hungry, we are hungry for this word, you know, for this are constantly trying to be fed, constantly. You know, checking the YouTube feed to see if, you know, you know, of course, brothers posting videos. Brothers got their favorite brothers they watch. You know, did that brother post a video yet? You know, did he post one? You see? And, and brothers is being fed. And it's going to lead to us physically eating during the time of famine. Because that's nothing. The Lord wants us to eat spiritually first. And that's what we're doing. It says, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now. For ye shall laugh. So those who weep now in that house of mourning now, that's going to lead to you, you know, laughing at famine, laughing at tribulations. You see, like I told you in Job, the fifth chapter, it says, that was the point. But, um, Lord's willing, uh, you were edified through the spirit and power of Yah by Shema Shai. You know, it's time, the congregation of the wise. We over here in the house of mourning, crying out to the Lord, you know, asking the Lord to get us the hell out of this kingdom. But Lord willing, you're edified. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom.